Hi everyone. So this is uh, my key topics for June 2024, which I feel are really important. Uh, looking at what came in the last uh, sort of uh, three to four papers, and also what is important. Uh, I've made my uh, some intelligent guesses. I would say. Uh, remember, these are just my sort of prediction, and they uh, may or may not come. So please don't uh, uh, sort of uh, say when the exams are done that uh, you know Sir Ali said this and it didn't come. It's just something which I feel strongly about, given what has happened in the last three to four papers. So there's always a question on uh, you know changes in equilibrium. So one thing I feel strongly about is that we will be tested on changes in equilibrium. Um, that simply means that you know they could, uh, for example, say uh, there could be factors that can change demand, or factors that can change demand uh, supply and they can ask you to show new equilibrium and with that they can ask you for example you know the change that can happen in consumer surplus or change in producer surplus or even the factors that can affect you know the price or quantity so we are very likely to be seeing a question that can test our knowledge about equilibrium, that can test our knowledge about consumer surplus, producer surplus, and that can test our knowledge about, you know, like for example, they can say, you know, because of, let's say, change in subsidy, how will your, you know, like uh, demand and supply would look like, and uh, what, what to what extent, you know, the price or quantity may change, or they could ask, uh, they know, the effect of this change in equilibrium on consumer surplus and producer surplus. So this is one question I feel strongly about uh, in the last three sort of papers. If you look at the March paper, the June paper, and the November paper, we have seen a very strong tendency for examiner to test this knowledge about either the equilibrium or changes in equilibrium or factors that can change the price and quantity or consumer producer surplus uh, of um, any market guys another favorite topic of examiner and I'm uh, definitely sure that you will be tested on this will be on the elasticity and within elasticity remember when they are looking at elasticity they are looking at PED uh, PES uh, XCD and uh, YED now they have been testing us on the relevance of elasticity of demand and revenue. Um, and uh, similarly, they have been testing us about uh, uh, PES as well. So you need to know the relevance of all of these uh, three elasticities to different stakeholders like businesses, uh, to government, etc. Also, you need to know the PED and revenue relationship because that's something which uh, is an important thing to understand. And uh, also the significance when you're looking at XED, the value and sign. Similarly, YED, the significance of your value and sign. So please guys, uh, prepare this topic really well. It is tested every single year in the last three papers. So I would say you may see uh, s something similar to come uh, because if you are prepared with one of these two, uh, it's not enough. You need to prepare for both of these in order to make sure you are in a safe space when it comes to your uh, exam. Another question that I feel strongly about could be that on you know like government intervention when you look at government intervention it's a large topic because within government intervention you have indirect taxes you have subsidies you have uh, agricultural market you also have for example minimum maximum price and you have uh, also a discussion about you know merit demerit and public goods merit demerit and public goods being tested merit goods and demerit goods have been tested significantly public goods also came in the last three papers what has not come when it comes to government intervention is something on minimum price. So there's no harm in looking at minimum price. There's no harm in looking at, uh, you know, agriculture and even linking up it up with uh, income 
income inequality because that is a topic that is added so they could sort of mix a question that could be related to these three things income inequality which would basically addressing income inequality through transfer payments and so on but using addressing income inequality knowledge and minimum price and and using that in probably agriculture market um, and uh, looking at agriculture market so i feel this is one thing that hasn't been tested for a long time and here they could also test your knowledge of subsidies because subsidies has also, has also not come so using subsidies or they may say minimum price and compare and contrast and they can look at agriculture market and they can give you this question uh, using this knowledge um, another topic just to be on the safe type that that you should sort of uh, look at and prepare is the role of prices and need for government intervention so let me write this role of prices so remember role of prices is signaling uh, its incentive and its uh, rationing so role of prices and need for government intervention so these guys are my key sort of um, uh, topics for micro that I really want everyone to prepare um, and it's just through my guesses that I've seen in the last sort of three to four papers what has been tested and what could possibly come in our exam okay so that's for micro let's now look at macro so guys if I tell you the big sort of um, you know way the examiner is going with macro is that the examiner is always putting one question on uh, international trade and within international trade the examiner is putting in uh, also your exchange rate the free, free floating exchange rate and linking it up with policies and also uh, sort of uh, looking at all the you know pros and cons of international trade so there is definitely going to be a one question on international trade for sure uh, because that's how examiner is uh, testing us uh, recently and I feel the examiner will test us this topic for sure and the reason why I believe that will happen also is because international trade is not a heavily tested topic in A2 but this is a heavily topic tested topic in AS so that's number one number two is the idea of uh, you know like uh, topic that is definitely needs to be prepared be prepared is inflation so you need to know the causes of inflation you need to know the cost of inflation you need to know various factors that could, for example change your uh, ADAS and therefore change uh, inflation and within that uh, you know they test you on various things they test you on the shape of the aggregate supply curve the short run long run implication so inflation is definitely something which will be prepared and then unemployment and its consequences is something which I really want you guys to make sure that you prepare well because I have seen uh, that this topic has uh, not been tested recently and it's added and I feel this is something really important to be prepared for so these are some of the three things that I uh, feel strongly about and I really want you guys to make sure that you go to the exam and prepare this really well international trade is a big topic so make sure that you prepare all aspects of it because one question will be on international trade one question will be on inflation and then on the backup because you know the B part could also link uh, unemployment with inflation or separately unemployment can also come in terms of consequences and causes of uh, unemployment so guys that's it uh, from my side uh, good luck and uh, let me know how the exam goes and uh, uh, inshallah everything will be fine you guys uh, just work hard the notes are also available on the the website if you want to read uh, go ahead and do that and good luck everyone